This video is for the person who's on Wagovi and wants to skip right to the part where we talk about side effects. If you are confused about your weight, if you have questions about weight medicine, if you want medically based answers to your questions, you are in the right place. I'm Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this is important because I prescribe these medications all the time. I talk to patients about their weight all the time. I've helped hundreds of patients lose weight and I'm here to help you too. So welcome. Today we're going to skip right to the part for people on Wagovi. For you, you're watching this because you're on Wagovi. Um, we're going to skip right to the part where we talk about the side effects. Now I've made a lot of videos about side effects, but this one is just about Wagovi. So let's get started. So Wagovi, as we know, is one of the um, GLP-1 receptor agonist medications. And so it is going to have a lot of similar side effects to both Saxenda, aka liraglutide, and Zepbound, aka terzepatide. So all of these people are going to experience, may actually may experience, not everybody, some people, they just fly right through, have no issues, um, may experience nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, headache, fatigue. Uh, some people get changes in their mood. We're still figuring out who that happens for, but if you have significant mental health issues, definitely talk to your prescribing physician before you start this medication. Also with any weight loss, especially weight loss that's, a more, that's at a more rapid pace, um, anybody is at higher risk for developing gallstones. And gallstones come with their own set of complications, which also include gallstone pancreatitis. Also, any of these medications um, in this class can cause pancreatitis on their own. It's very, very rare, um, but it is a side effect that you should be aware of because if you have issues with pancreatitis to begin with, you definitely wanna go over that with your prescribing physician before you start this medication. Also, because these medications slow the movement of food through the stomach, you may find that some of your other medications are less effective. Now, this also applies to, you know, if you're going to the OR, your surgeon's gonna want you to stop this medication well before you go. So talk to them about when they want that to happen. But also, um, it could interfere with things like birth control. We know a little bit more about this with Zepbound. That seems to interfere a bit more. But I would just, to be on the safe side, generalize that to all the GLP-1 agonists in terms of, you know, if you really don't want surprises, think about using a backup method as well if you are on an oral contraceptive. Specifically for Wagovi, I've definitely seen patients have more of that skin sensitivity reaction, and that seems to be dose related. Um, again, if you if you are not seeing your particular side effect here, um, please comment down below because I always love to hear about what other people are experiencing on these medications. But definitely some skin sensitivity on Wagovi. Um, a lot of people complain about burping and that's not exclusive to Wagovi either, but um, certainly uh, can have a stronger presence for this medication for some people. Um, and I've also heard about people having odd cravings. So maybe somebody didn't really like sweets before and overall their cravings are a lot better, but hmm, now they're craving chocolate in a way that they really didn't before. So nothing that's you know life-threatening or severe, but just little peculiarities that they've noticed in terms of the types of food they're thinking about that maybe they didn't think about quite as much before. Again, the reaction to these medications is very individual. Some people have all the side effects, some people have no side effects, and some people have side effects that are really time related. So this video is not to scare you, okay? This video is just to give you a broad idea of some things that you may experience but definitely, if you think this is a good medication for you, don't let it get in the way of talking with your physician about whether or not you wanna pursue this further. Also, with a lot of the side effects, there are ways around it. We can play with the dose a little bit. We can extend the amount of time that, that you're on it to really let your body adjust more. There are medications that can help with the side effects. So if you are having these side effects, again, it's not a full stop, this medication, isn't for me, I mean, it may or may not be, you won't know until you try, but definitely if you're having issues with it, it's important to check in with your physician and go over what your options are. I've also made a ton of other videos about side effects, so go check those out, but thank you so much for watching, and as always, my references will be listed down below. Comment, like, subscribe, do all the things, and 
please be well.